What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I always tell you, brothers, that it's a lot of red pill understanding in the celebrity world. You know, people like me, shout out to my brother Jada Black because he was doing it before I was. I mean, you just see so many things happening that shows you why, you know, some dudes are, are, are considered beta, some dudes are alphas, and what women will go for if a guy has the things that she wants. And you can see she don't mind disrespecting the dude that she's with, don't matter how good he is to her, but if the right guy comes across, you're gonna see how she responds. Now there's a viral clip of a young brother who was dating um, a young lady. Uh, allegedly, her name is Kay. Uh, now she's very, very gorgeous, good looking. And allegedly she was either an ex-girlfriend of NBA Youngboy or she's just a fan of NBA Youngboy. I'm not sure. But the brother is there with the girl and she comes across NBA Youngboy and NBA Youngboy walks up to her and as you can see in the background, he's just like, you know, greeting her as if she's the wife and she don't have no problem with it, right? And then the dude is sitting there in like disbelief. He can't believe that his woman is responding to NBA Youngboy in that way. And guys, I wanna, I wanna talk about some some uncomfortable truths here, okay? The uncomfortable truth is most of us as men, women are settling for us. Now, I'm not dissing you at all, okay? You're probably a great guy. You're probably even more than what she deserves. In her mind, she's settling for you. If you're not the guy who's a millionaire, if you're not the guy who's making a half million dollars a year, who has a bunch of nice cars, you're a guy she's selling for. You might be nice, you might be a good man, you might treat her really nice, and that might be great, but you're not the guy that she feels she deserves. The guy that she feels she deserves is making $18 million a year on YouTube, which is like a young boy. He has a buku amount of money and get, and get this, being one of his baby mamas is better than being your full-time girlfriend. I'm gonna say it again, our wife. Being one of his baby mamas is better than being your wife. Don't believe me, just look at Nick Cannon. A lot of those ladies are single or were single before they met him. And it was plenty of guys want to deal with them. It is better for them to be Nick Cannon's baby mama than to be some guy's wife. So what happens is that when a woman gets the opportunity to meet NBA young boy or to deal with the kind of guy that she wants, you get to see how she really acts for dudes she's attracted to. And for a lot of dudes, you look just like that dude. It, it hurts. It's like, damn, that's how she feels. Yes, that's how she feels. And she might apologize. Oh, I didn't make you feel that way. No, no that's what you wanted. And really, you're just a dude that she really given a chance to. That's really a friend. She might always say, I always loved you, but that's who she wants to be with. Don't take it personal. Some guys never get to see it. Most women, the dude that she really want to be with, you never get to see him. Cause he's a dude that's smashing for the free. He's the dude that she's sneaking over to his house. He's a dude that she's sending I love you messages to. You never get to see it though. In this case, he got to see it. Here's what I will tell you. Let him have her. Because you know what? All he gonna do is treat her like the side piece that she is. You know, you might love her and she is beautiful. She, she fine as hell. But if you want to be a side piece, baby, go ahead. And some of, some of the dudes got to really understand it. A lot of the girls that you want to deal with, a lot of ladies that you, that, that you work hard to even get a date from, somebody else's side piece instantly. And it shows you one thing, become rich. There you go. Won't solve everything. Won't solve most of the stuff, but become more successful. Become more successful. It's the only way for young men. 
that's the key. Become more successful. All right. When you're a guy, you're on the come up and people don't give you much of a chance. It's how it is guys. But you will cry now, laugh later. Trust me, 10 years down the line, when NBA young boy has 30 more kids and his ass is locked back up and you have a million dollar a month business or something like that, that same chick will be in Walmart with sandals on. Five kids by five different dudes talking about how much she missed you. See, you gotta play the long game. A lot of ladies play the short game, but you got to play the long game. And I know it hurts when you see how these ladies act amongst the guys they want to be with. It's fine. Don't get offensive. Don't be mad. It's hard to be mad, but don't be mad. You loved her. She loved somebody else. It's not personal. Because to another dude, she's just going to be a side piece. Let her go. Let her go. Go be rich, work hard, invest in yourself, build business networks, learn how to do business. And, and then, you know, she'll, she'll see you around being rich, of course. And they'll be mad. They'll be mad. They're always mad. All right. And then when that dude end up dumping them, treating them like trash, she'll wish she had a nice dude like you. Okay. And don't get mad at all women because you know what? All women ain't like that. But if you have a woman and your woman is a big time fan of Emmy, a young boy, something's wrong with that. Something is wrong with that. I know Emmy, a young boy is a hot artist right now, but if she wants to mess with him with his track record, bruh, that's where she's at. Let, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, these dudes are doing y'all a favor. These dudes are taking some of these chicks off your hand. Let them. Don't, don't fight for them to be there. They need to go. Black men are doing too much to keep women around that don't need to be there. Let them go back to the streets where they belong. To the streets thou shalt return. Uncle Future. Right? When you're on the pathway to being successful, to being affluent, to raising your socioeconomic background, the last thing you want to be around are groupies. They don't deserve to be there. They deserve to be in the streets. And some of y'all got hired to your girlfriends who are like that. Out. Out. No, you will not be here in the Maldives with me. No, you're not coming to Dubai with me. No, you're not going to Paris with me. You will be there in a, a goddamn honey wagon with NBA young boy getting a train ran on you. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains on all-time high. I'm out.